Dear colleagues, welcome to the update on the 1608 HTML5 SAP Business by Design User Interface update. Just before the summer break, let me give you a quick overview on what has happened. I'm logged on to a 1608 system and by now all of your test systems also have been upgraded to 1608. If you add the corresponding parameters to the URL, then you can directly launch, as I said, in your test system, also the HTML5 UI. So what do you see when you're logged on? Basically the normal system as we've always explained it, so we haven't made any significant changes there besides moving the menu here to the left and adding a few new capabilities about which I will talk in a few minutes. Good, if we quickly go back here to the home screen, let's do the typical regular demo. Uh, sales order volume, we want to see how we did uh, year to date, but more in a table view. You can then select the parameters that you would like to really see, which would be ABC classification, in my case, account. And I need to see the sales orders and with a few clicks, you have created the report that you actually wanted to see here in the system. If you want to limit further uh, the colleagues um, who you want to see, which sales orders you have here, you can obviously do that. And then you can navigate directly from here into the corresponding sales orders uh, like we can do this now for a couple of years. Okay, if we skip this part here, or maybe just to show more, one more capability. Not too many people actually know that it's there. It's the enterprise search capability, which searches across all of the capabilities of business by design. You can type in a report name here or whatever you want. I keyed in here simply the number of a sales order. Um, imagine I've scanned that one and then the system comes back to me and says it has found journal entries which contain 2782 customer invoices and the sales order. I'm going for the sales order here. I get the overview. I can see that I sold a project in this case. If I want to do more, you can see that uh, also all of the normal capabilities, especially the doc flow, is available to you. If you now want to navigate through to the project, you click on the project ID. You can then go here to view all. The project management capability will be available at a later point in time because there's more work to be done. So with 1608, uh, we've primarily focused on the CRM capability and the generic capabilities, but you can see quite a bit is working here already. And if we go back to the doc flow, we want to see the customer invoice. We can obviously also navigate through to that one. Click here on preview and the system will retrieve the corresponding invoice for us. That much as a quick view on how the transactional side of the house looks like. I want to show you two more things which were a focus area for this feature pack. We worked on the personalization capabilities of business by design. So over here you see now all of the tiles and you can now move the tiles around in the way how you want to do it. Uh, you can also say if you don't want to see the getting started, you can switch it off or switch it back on again. So personalization is really something which is very nice in the HTML5 environment or if you would want uh, to take out certain reports, you can do this here. If you want to add a new report, you can click here and the system will present to you all of the available reports which are assigned uh, to your role and you can then apply them or uh, leave this dialogue. Good, that much when you're done, uh, you can say stop the personalization and you are back in the system. Good, uh, let me show you one last capability of this new version. For example, if you want to see always the sales orders and um, you don't need all of the overview, then you can add the sales order 
to the launch pad. What the launch pad does, let me quickly show you that by logging off of the system and starting the system again. What you saw was that when you log on immediately, this page comes up here. That is the launch page, the launch pad. And the launch pad will be loaded. And even if you are on a slow line and the system takes a little bit longer to retrieve the number of open items, the buttons that you have here and you can propagate every capability to the launch pad will be available immediately to you. So if you say, I don't need the fantastic overview screen, I always need immediately the sales orders, well, you can click directly on the tile and you are in the middle of the system. So that is one of the capabilities which we've added with the HTML5 user interface as feedback from our customers who said, give us a very fast entry into the system. With that, thanks a lot. Have fun with the 1608 feature pack. As said, you can try out the capability in your system, in your test tenants, and please do us a big favor. Um, this pop-up will come up and give us feedback on the user interface. We would love to hear from you how we are doing, what we can do better. Thanks a lot.